So, what's in the box? Let's have a look at it. So, do anyone know where this area is? It's lovely. And this is the helmet in question. That is lovely. That is gorgeous. A couple of those screws in the suit. How easy is that? How easy is that? Would have been nice to get spare ones of these. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Ta da! That's lovely. Look at that. So it's coming up to um, six months uh, now since I've had, I've owned uh, this lovely rocket hull, and it's the uh, coming up to um, a month now since I've owned this lovely Rourke, um Atlas IV. Now this is my very first Atlas um, uh, helmet. I've never had the uh, Atlas III, so I can't really come do a comparison between the two. But uh, why did I buy this? Um, well, actually. Um, I saw it um, at the uh, motorbike show and uh, it just looked really really nice you know uh, but I saw it before um, that was just like pictures and all that stuff and uh, yeah I, I thought to myself oh it would be nice to see it in the flesh and I did see it in the flesh I did quite like it uh, I like the design of it yeah so this is the matte black um, variant and they've got so many different colours uh, to choose from to match your bike or uh, to match your outfit I've gone for this one to match my motorbike you know being it's, um, it's um, predominantly or matte black so hence why I bought this one now it is a, a very comfortable helmet I, I normally take a, a, a large uh, but this the sizing they done on here was uh, like an extra large and uh, um, so large to extra large, that was my sizing. And uh, it fits really nice. Now I've gone this way because uh, I wanted to kind of test out the, the noise level on this helmet. Now this, um, the bike is quiet in a way, so it's not gonna get no interference on the bikes on the bike side, but uh, uh, it's just basically the wind noise. Now originally I bought uh, this helmet alone, a standalone. I didn't bought Shockway, uh, but um, oh, the, the idea was I wanted to uh, fit my my um, my Zena on here. But my Zeno is kind of playing up and I didn't really want to kind of fit it on and put the speakers on and they've got a system, you know, called the Shockway to um, use. And I think I didn't want to use the Shockway because I wanted something really compatible with other devices without the, um, the flip-fluff of um, installing the apps and all that stuff, you know. Uh, but uh, I, I installed the Shockway. It's okay. Yeah, I'm still having an issue trying to um, connect to other people after um, reading manual on that one, but uh, other than that, um, it's a very lovely helmet. Very roomy inside. The other reason what, what attracts me to this uh, helmet is uh, just the vision on here, you know, if it's just for general cruising, uh, you've got, wow, the spectrum of what you can see on this helmet is it's definitely a, a, a cruiser style helmet uh, where you could, your um, peripheral vision is just enormous out on here I can hear some wind noise on there but it's nothing that um, you get irritated on there uh, compared to like some other helmets I've, um, I've used before so I'm cruising at uh, 50 miles an hour and uh, 
it's, it's comfortable, very comfortable. It'd be interesting to see um, or to hear what the um, the sounds could be like on uh, at uh, 70 onwards, really. But I'll give you some update on that one. Now going to this rocket. This rocket is designed and built for cruising. It's just sublime. It's absolutely gorgeous. You know, I'm sitting. It's like sitting on my sofa at home watching Grand Prix. It's just comfortable. You know, the legs kind of cock out like uh, you're ready for action. But uh, the uh, the bike itself, it's very comfortable. Quite comfortable. I'm really glad I've gone for the R version. Um, I have to train my body for the GT version, but uh, it won't be long before I can do that. Just riding the MIG, MIG pegs uh, position on here, it's just really nice. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody loves a rocket R. <laughs> this guy is struggling. Struggling. Van, are you gonna are you sure? Oh well. Right the here we go, it's going to be like 200 hours. It's nice to get out the bike. I think we are here. We have arrived at the beach hall coffee guys get your coffee from here we've had a lovely coffee at the, uh, the beach hall um, it's in Hackney and I'm going home well actually I'm not going to go home right here I'm just going to go for a cruise one thing I can say for sure the sound quality, the music coming out of it, it's just so entertaining, it's really lovely actually. Yeah, so this helmet is quite reasonably light and uh, the, the, the interior um, is very comfortable. Uh, you don't feel like you've got uh, the helmet on at all, so that's a comfort bonus really. One thing I don't like is helmets which just kind of squeeze your bloody skull, you know, this one very comfortable. And I bought um, um, two visors, um, actually I bought one visor, um, the, it, it comes with a dark visor and uh, a clear visor and I bought um, this kind, this colour, I don't know what it's called, it's like a reddish, goldish, it's got a little bit of a bling flatter on it. You got fat fingers like myself, and you're gonna have problems. <laughs> okay, here you go. Oh, very easy. Just clip this onto here. Slide it down. Voila. Drop it down. That's the USB. Put it to charge it up. And that's it. So all I need to do now is plug in the speakers. 
Okay, so now I've got the speaker in. Uh, it's a little bit fiddly because I tried to do it without taking the internals off and out, but I uh, end up just loosening it in a way. So, hopefully. Sorted. All right, so now all I need to do is charge it up, install the software on my iPhone, and away we go. Yeah. 